Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Jaggy's back, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get into it. She talking Jay Z, Diddy, all that. You see it? You had said that you are related. Yeah. Faith is related, and you had mentioned that your relation, you know, kind yeah. of the the family tree of it all. Just like Snoop is related to. Really? Yeah, Russia. I just saw on Instagram posted a list of people who are related. I was like, oh shit. Like, there's a Most lot. people in the industry are related. I, I, yeah, that's crazy. I, I probably know somebody that fucked her. Bloodlines. Yeah. Think about it. Look at Wanye right now with his sons. Yeah. I still don't understand why he signed them to marry. I don't get it. I, I, bitch can't read. <laughs> why would you trust a contract coming from a bitch that can't read? Yo, she drawing. Clearly, she didn't write it. No, nah, that, that's true. And if she can't read, she she, she, she can't read. she can't write. So who's that's writing that. the fucking contract that those kids signed? Devils. Uh, 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 now guess what? Considering the deal their father signed, I don't know. Lucy and Gray. Boys, the men got fucked. They got raped by Michael Vick. What? Not even. They they, they making right. money today. They making money now. And I'm not saying sexual assault. I'm talking about pockets. Man, I know what you mean. They making money now. What you mean? Right through. Very bad. Very bad. Like, how? They have me... one of the worst recording contracts. Am I dumb? For real? It was almost as if Michael Bivens was like having like PTSD from New, New Edition, edition being days. a child star. And said, I'm gonna find some real we're talented gonna, guys. We're gonna do this again. And I'm gonna fuck them over yeah. worse we're than we did. Again. So we can say it happened to somebody else. That's that's PTSD for you. That is like, we're gonna make them relive it. Make them relive it. God damn. Why would you do that to another artist? Yeah. Why would you sit there and say, Man, we had the number one record and we were still on food stamps. Uh, and okay, that's not that's not that. that's not good. Well <laughs> what the fuck? It's like four of them nigga. Five of them. What the fuck? A hundred to two hundred a show? The niggas only touching like ten bands. At the end Damn. of his run before he had to leave boys to men. After all this time too, that's kinda Yeah, please. I I I'm stupid. Let me tell you how bad his finances had gotten after his Wife ran through what lump sum of money they had on that god awful soul food restaurant that lacked soul and promptness. Six hours wow. to get a turkey wing platter. Six hours. Jeez. We used to call it opening to get it in time for dinner. Get your order in as soon as they open if you want to have it by six. That was the joke around Voorhees. Jill bought their house. Mm. This bitch, Jill. Oh my God. She got it cheap. <laughs> Here we go. It would have been a $750,000 home back then, but they were forced to knock two hundred and fifty dollars off the top because of the structural damage. That ain't good. Shit, Apparently, they weren't able to take care of that home. A big issue, yeah. It was riddled with termites. Oh, God. Ew, she so the only thing holding up was the paint. That's crazy. They needed the money. So Jill squeezed. A little whore. And they sold that house for very much more than $400,000 less what it was worth. Get the fuck damn. And they broke even. Mm. That's, that's a nice ass house. Is it the way you hate me, baby? That was my cousin Alma that sang that. Wait, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> The apple don't fall oh, far. You don't want to diss me. The touch. apple don't fall far. You don't want to diss me. Yeah. I know you. <laughs> Bitch. What yeah. is that? <laughs> Phil- you know what I just said? That Philly coming out. Michael Bivens fucked over boys to men. And when Big Mike got sick. She, she ain't lying. 
there wasn't enough money available to help them through their hard times. Let's, let's go to school about it. So, mm-hmm. Right. Talk, t- talk to her. Promote that soul let's look at that real quick while she's talking. I mean, I can understand why it was some nigga shit, but maybe if they had got some real help, maybe they could have hired somebody to come in and help manage it. But no, they had to be a self-ran business because they couldn't afford to hire anyone. Why not? Like, why was there not a moment where Michael Bivens said, I really did fuck y'all over. I see this nigga struggling and this shit that happened to him ain't even his fault. Yo, nigga, let me slide y'all five million. Sorry. Just right. because for you and your family, say your house. No. He was left to go bankrupt and be forced to sell to a vulture like Jill Scott, who was also an artist and knew how bad that family was struggling and took that as an opportunity to get a very, very large scale home in a lovely, lovely white Jewish neighborhood for cheap. (laughs) I mean, I'm just like, you could have said, I know you guys don't want to walk away from your home, but at least let me pay you full value because I got the money and I want to see y'all be okay. She knew they were going to have to forfeit on that mortgage, and she squeezed. She was kinder to that damn dog. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, p- p- putter? Putter? What's his name? Plutter, yeah. Yeah, Plutter, yeah. You, you gave the dog an idiot name, and you wonder why he's shutting his shoe. <laughs> the fuck is Plutter? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> oh, it's the sound of speak, mate. That's your fault, bitch. You named him nothing. <laughs> How you gonna... <laughs> like, Flutter, I used to hate that shit. And he hated kids. And he barked at people's feet. Like, he was fucked up. Oh, man. I can see why Liza says she shouldn't make no babies. Oh, man. I mean, that was her husband. So, he should have known her best. Yeah, yeah let me she say this. She wrote a whole song about it. Hit record. Want to hear it? It's not for rich. Oh, shit. Turn on a black radio station on Sunday where they sell bullshit all the time. Jack, I, I want to ask. Um, Nothing progressive. I, I, I have to say, most people that watch our interviews or your interviews as of late, uh, the main question that comes up is, how does she know what was she there? So yeah. I want I want to do it like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna name some names. Sure. And I want to know, you know, were you, were you around them? Sure. Um, I would like to start for what everybody knows is Jay Z. What about him? Were you around him? In what capacity were you around him? Was it strictly? I was it was it only unplugged in my life? Both of them were with Mr. Carter. Ask me what you want to know and I'll answer what I can. Let's just start with the the base level. Um, Business, personal. Both. Both. And spiritual. And spiritual. And Mm. spiritual. Mm. Okay. Um, We believe in the same power. We don't believe in appropriating it the same way. Can I ask you this? For you, God, did you take, did you find joy in the business or pleasure? And when you answer that, I'm going to flip it on him. Do you feel he found joy in the business or pleasure part of that? Hmm. Or spiritual? He is the most shameful thing I've ever done. There is nothing that I experienced with that person that has not inspired shame except for Unplugged. Jesus Christ. That was the purest moment Um, for me. It was all done in love for music, love for all that was there, love for the culture. Uh, 
I hate the fact that we did it all for a culture vulture. Um, for someone who never truly had the capacity to appreciate that moment in time, to steal it from the masses, to hide it, to cloak it. I put it up on Philadelphia last year when we launched. You know how many people came to the network to see that show that they never got to see? You know what's great about this year? What? I still got the fight. There you go. There you go. And in one week, Jay Z unplugged the actual whole concert from beginning to end will be viewed and able to be viewed on realjack.com. Come and see the history. Come and see the power of that moment, the amazing things that we did with our bodies and our minds and our spirits. There was not one person in that room that was not elevated that night. And everyone in that room would be a liar if they said that I wasn't responsible for 75% of it. I understand and I lament and I cry and I grieve for Chris Brown's frustration because I know what it's like to be the fucking best and they won't let you be. I just decided I was going to find another way. I'm going to burn it all to the fucking ground. Fuck you all. None of you have the right to police God's gift. And what fucking gives a man a right to think that he gets to place a monetary value on a gift from God and then enforce it with treachery and barbary. Like you fucking pimping God's gift? Most of y'all don't even fucking pay taxes to the God you serve. Fucking cheating. Shell corporation after shell corporation. Fuck you mean, like cruelty free artistry. I, that's the challenge. Can we make albums without a sexual assault involved? Can we make albums with, with, without peeping toms, looking in girls' green rooms and dressing rooms? Can we make albums without the girls in the videos being sodomized right before they were thrown on camera and told to smile? Otherwise, they were going to get sodomized again. But sniff this shit and you'll be okay. Like... Can, can, can we release projects without any of that kind of shit happening? Because right now, if you go back and look at everything that's being exposed, I think it would be fair to say that if albums had to be guaranteed cruelty-free, 75% of most music wouldn't even fucking come out. I can see that. Drill records wouldn't exist. People talking about, I'm bringing down our people. Let's talk about drill music. Yeah. Let's it make is. that make sense. It will never. You, you encourage criminal behavior. And then when that's not enough to keep the audiences excited, you encourage barbaric behavior. And then um, they die, and then they're famous. Like most drill artists who go all the way up, if I'm correct, don't most of them end up either shot, in jail, for murder, or dead? Like, ain't that the... Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's that's how it works. You're not, you're about to go number one, and now you, you, you're on trial for unaliving people. That's right. Let's not even go that far. Let's talk about the, the disappearance of Lizzo. Are we going to put Lizzo on a milk carton? I mean, you know, I think South Park just... I think it's time to put Lizzo on a milk carton, baby. 
Where's she at? I mean, she, she body shamed her, her workers. She body shamed her workers? Mm -hmm. Or did someone pay her workers to say she body shamed them? Oh, Hold on shit. a second. Wait a minute. Oh, Wait a shit. minute. They are Let workers. Me. Let's not get it fucked up. They are Jeez. workers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 we finna get into it. We finna get into it. People always say, I ain't got no receipts, right? Got it. Fuck you mean. Let me put it here. Let me put it here. I'm gonna go back to February 2023. Oh. Okay. What happened February 2023 of last year other than my um second ex-husband blowing up our car? What happened? The Grammys happened, if, I, if I'm if i correct. Grammys? Super Bowl? The Grammys yeah. happened. I was in Phoenix. Oh, yeah, the Grammys. For the Grammys. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, so this was in Chicago. Actually, no, that wasn't in Chicago. That was in Joliet after we escaped Chicago. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. All right, yep. Yeah. Here we are, yeah, palm trees, yeah, 10 feet. And Lizzo won. Hold on a second. Yup, here we go. One. Hold it close. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, huh? wait, a wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, nah, that was good. That was good. Let her do it again. To actually, get the whole audio. No, like, what the fuck? Y they distracted us and shit. What the fuck they doing? It's getting out of here. Nah, that was crazy. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Ain't that funny? I was able to go right to it. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold on a second. Let me get over here. I was thinking it was like, all right, they just didn't like the bitch and shit. You know, the fellas was trying to get some money off that bitch. And she was just a hard working bitch. Like, she just did the most. All right, you fuck around, bro. What that fucking lawsuit? Like, bitch, Jack stop doing some fucking money. But it ain't like she abusive. Weeks ago. Oh, man, let's go. Congrats at Lizzo. Now, this is, hold on a second. No, 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 let me, let me go back to the actual post. All right, so this is what it says. Um, and 14,170 views, blah, 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 blah. Jaguar right. congrats at Lizzo. It's about damn time at Recording Academy. You got it right this time, album of the year. February 5th, 2023. Now listen to what I said. The album of the year. You gotta love Lizzo. You gotta love her. That's what I'm talking about. Queen. That's Gerald. Queen. This is a big deal. This is a huge deal. That's right, yay, Lizzo! They don't have the volume up. Hold on, there's more. It's buffering. I wonder why. Doja ain't got them spells down packed. She ain't win the album of the year. I said Doja ain't got them spells down packed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me see if I can play. Let me That's what I'm talking about. Queen. This is a big deal. This is a huge deal. That's right, yay, Lizzo. They don't have the volume up. No, Doja ain't got them spells down packed. She ain't win the album of the year. <laughs> All Lizzo did was eat fried chicken and sing her songs. That's all you gotta do. I know her mama 
Her big ass ain't going to get hurt, man. A lot of enemies. Congrats, Lizzo. We're praying for you and your continued success. All right, y'all. I'll check in later. Nigga, she is too heavy for them to kidnap it all. That. They're not having it to that big bitch. Receive Lizzo and they make some about February the South Park. 5th, 2020. February 5th, 2023. Two days after my husband, my second ex husband blew up my car. We was out with Chatty Petty, Patrice Garner, who doxed my address this year. Mm. Now, anyway. Mm. She won album of the year, but only Grammy. Beyonce has still never won in 29 Grammys. Ooh. 29 Grammys and never once album of the year. Ooh. I don't know if I would call it speaking. I would definitely call it ranting. Mm-hmm. Ain't that what you do? But yeah, okay. Lizzo won. The prize that Beyonce can't. Apparently, 29 attempts and just quit. <laughs> I stop, you know. It, it, that ain't your award, you know. You got the right Basically. Song. Basically. You got lots of duplicates and singles. You know? Yeah. Just be happy. Have a good Got a bunch of trap trophies you can't do shit with. Ain't you know. worth no monetary value at all. Just idols for people to worship. But I just find it interesting that Lizzo won. And in the middle of her speech, she literally stopped and praised Beyonce and said she felt bad. That she won over Beyonce. God. Oh, word. On the biggest night of her life, she's literally showing remorse for winning. That's how intimidating the Carters have been. Basically. And then the Damn next man, thing that's you know, what it sounds like. Three weeks shit. later, the rumor mill starts. Beyond, uh, uh, Lizzo's a mean girl. Lizzo don't like skinny girls. Lizzo eats fried chicken and throws the bones at her dancers and shit like. like (laughs) And guess what? Not once did anybody bother to see where it all started. Okay, true. Think of what's his name? What's his name? The fucking guy who started the Pill Cosby shit. I was thinking practice. The first guy. To take a shot at Bill Cosby right before it went crazy, remember? I remember somebody. He told said the Bill joke. Cosby. And everybody, if, remember? Yeah. 
he was the guy that started it off, and then boom, and then the next thing you know, Bill Cosby was all up in the Me Too shit, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, he was a failed comedian who had been struggling. Sorry for the weeds, huh? Right after that, his project, he got his first sitcom greenlit. Pilot never aired. Now, the most important part of that story is, is this. Oh, shit, what was his name again? Oh. <laughs> what was his name again? Other than the guy what was his name? who was talking bad about his people, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's a whole comedian. He wouldn't be able to stand on that stage if it wasn't for the efforts of Bill Cosby, whether he was a predator or not. Well, and they paid you to take a shot at that old man, yeah. and, and all you left with is a, is a punchline from an ODB lyric, introducing your fuck that nigga name. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't remember it, do we, gentlemen? Uh, true. You know. Well, no, I don't know if I say fuck to ask about no, but nobody bothers to ask about these bad actors and these agitators. Okay. Everything was cool with Prince. He went through the fight, and then the next thing you know, Sinead O'Connor, who he helped make famous, mm-hmm. never had a hit outside of him, starts accusing him of sexual assault out of nowhere. Okay. A couple Crazy. other people corroborated, and then the next thing you know, whoopie, whoopie, whoop, and then it wasn't true, and then it was true, and then it wasn't this, and then it wasn't that, and then blah, 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 whoopie, whoopie, whoop. When's, when's the last time anyone saw Sinead O'Connor on tour? <laughs> Lisa Stansfield gets more gigs. They're from the same era. They should at least be able to play the same bill. Wonder why not? That's that's mm. that that's not the truth. No. Let me let me throw. They're from you know, the same yeah, era. Yeah, that that, that, that don't mean shit. That, that really don't mean a motherfucker. Maybe Chris Lighty is levels to this shit. Himself, and they're starting to look at the pattern that the Diddler had with arguing with certain label executives. That passed away shortly after those arguments, <laughs> the like Chris Lighty Diller. or Shaquan, who Kim Porter was dating. Oh, he beat her after that. Oh, I get what I want. He said, I'm an animal. Said, I'm an animal. You know, wait a minute, check this out. He was telling the truth, wasn't he? Hey, that's it. He was on it. Why, why, why didn't we believe him? <laughs> I just, I killed my mother to get ahead. Why, why didn't we believe him? We he believed. said it. Donald Trump said, I could shoot a man in the face in the middle of Fifth Avenue in broad daylight and y'all do nothing to me. Yeah, that's all another issue. You want to know what's funny? Yeah, all right. He said, grab him by the pussy. Stormy Daniels turned around and grabbed him by the balls. Basically. Basically. Hey, hey. Of all the things to get him for, that lying bitch. Got him by the balls. Ha, ha. Got him by the balls. This is a woman that gets paid for her time. What would make you think you couldn't pay her for her her words? I don't know. Does the Kennedys never got arrested for all the shit they did with Marilyn Monroe. Oh. <laughs> they did a lot of shit. They were sharing brothers. Oh, God. <laughs> Will America care? Will America care? Not really, no. no. Well, yeah, who gives a fuck about that? Wanna know why? Because it's all entertainment. What? Another episode of Apprentice. It's all entertainment. Do you know how many times I've heard people say things about my very real life like she's unlocking a new character? 
I, I seen that. I want it's, you to it's think a new about arc. how strange that sounds. It's a new arc. Imagine uh, Rook, you and Angel go out to dinner with with your, your son here, and he brings his new girlfriend along. And y'all get on social media after taking pictures of the dinner, and somebody said, Oh shit, Rook just unlocked the new character. <laughs> <laughs> We, we see you go through a personal situation and then we're watching it unfold then the ad break comes on commercial yeah. and then we're waiting and then we go back click back and this yeah. back. I'm like it's... don't forget to buy your, your, your feminine hygiene yeah. product <laughs> <laughs> you see the way they line the ads up yo you can tell they clutch on that AI <laughs> wait a minute you hear niggas in, in, especially in the Jaguar right sector it'll be an argument you dirty bitch for YouTube CC. <laughs> so, you know, I feel sorry for um, the ones who really didn't get a chance to um, see what it was like to be a content creator earning at quarter million status, half a million status. Y'all know for yourselves. Y'all been here, what, 14 years? 14. And they ain't get that, that overnight, bro. He sacrificed 14 of his years. Million. What the fuck? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I'm going to put it to you this way. It is a part After being tomorrow, lucky. I don't think, I think it's a no-brainer. Yeah, no, no, seriously. After tomorrow, it's going to be a no-brainer. As it's a matter of fact, it's so, it's so phoned in that it's like, this is what we, this is what, this is kind of what we've been building up towards 14 years. So, and let me just get your thoughts on this. And let's speak on this because something may happen. What? Um, Gene Sorry. Deal. My bro? Your bro. It's so late. I wonder if he'll wait. Oh, well, you know what? It's so late. It might be early. It might be early. Gene Deal. Hold on a second. Now, because my bro asked me to call him, and I promised him I would. I mean, why have to be? Oh, well, if you want to just say hello real quick, if, if, if he answers, that, that'll be see. amazing. Bitch, Let's I, see if my bitch, I say call me live. Dance. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, bitch, don't call me live. She got a 14. I'm like a 14. Real nice resource. I'm glad so my shit lighter than that. 15 shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, she 14. That, she 14. That, she 14. That, she 14. The glass of my shit. Okay, okay, I, I kind of like the back oh, of hers better. I ain't gonna lie, like, yeah, no, the same yeah. color, but like yeah, gray uh, shit. It ain't crazy. Well, ain't all right, that's yeah. it. And, and I'm just curious. It's beautiful. A gene man, deal. Like, yeah. I called. There's evidence. Yeah. I yeah, evidence. Call. It's, 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 on, it's, on, it's on record now. When you see um, Keefe D trial about to start, Gene Deal speaking on the the errors of what happened in the '90s. Um, you have child actors, Orlando Brown, things like that nature. For what he speaks, Gene, for what you speak, for what these other victims are coming out and speaking who don't have voices that are loud as y'all, yours. Yeah. Um, what is the overall end result you feel happens once these voices get strong enough to reach the masses, the heavens, and let it rain down on society? Rain down on me. Well, the truth is, is the program is programming. Rain down on me. Um, Take me 
I don't think we take taking into consideration exactly how active AI is in our society now. That's a no, no. Um, I'm in LA. That's what my guys I'm at the Grove, and I'm looking at Are you gay, niggas? Self Stop thinking what the fuck driving passenger cars, Ubers, um, Lyfts. I'm watching robots take over the world. I'm oh, watching okay. people. Like, for instance, perfect example, on my way here. Yeah. You said the man put in the thing that he deaf. Put that in the deaf, Jack. Got it. Mm-hmm. So if he's deaf, we should not have been able to have a conversation. Okay. Not a fluid conversation where I can specifically ask him something and he can specifically answer me appropriately. Mm-hmm. That would be kind of hard for a deaf person to do, correct? Twenty yeah. years ago, definitely. Love it. No. Yeah. Okay. Chat, Chat GPT four point oh. Got it. Ha so, <laughs> Now, if he's deaf, even if he's wearing a cochlear implant, it should still be a slight challenge to have multiple conversations at one time. So how is this deaf man who was driving me and Andrew out able to tell me that he had a hard time listening to people give him directions because he's so used to listening to the AI give him directions. And I tried to tell him a shorter way to get here without having to get onto the highway because he's still using Google Maps and not Waze. I don't understand. No, I'm just saying, if you really want to get somewhere, you're going to use Waze. If you you want to try to get somewhere, you'll use Google Maps, even though they're both owned by the same. But yeah, it's definitely a try, but it's very trying. <laughs> nah, nah, <laughs> Google, Google Maps, Maps. Google Maps is terrible. But at the end of the day. I think it's terrible everywhere. I said, just go straight. I use Apple. And then you hear, in 350 feet, turn left. And guess what? I said, the human said, go straight. And he turned left. And I said, you really having a hard time dealing with this human versus AI thing? I said, what is it that makes you trusting? So trusting to trust what the machines say over the person who's actually driven these streets. Because I was a left driver here. I said, matter of fact, I was such a good Lyft driver. The machine I drove it too. Destination without using GPS. The machine drove it too, my love. Just listen to me. You drive never, a little further. You never seen them things on top right. of the on top of the car. Go straight. He turns right. So I see you still struggling with this this human versus AI thing because I, I could have told. You know, I'm trying real hard to. You know, I got. I'm just so used to. And I'm like, wow. He don't so trust people. You told me the man was deaf. I was totally caught by surprise. <laughs> ha! Because we had quite the conversation. And he made it very clear that when it came to taking directions, he wanted to get it from the Siri and fuck old Jag. <laughs> man, Bitch, fuck you old. a human. I'm going to trust this machine. You've been getting lost. This machine just had us sitting behind the train tracks. For True. 20 minutes, when I told you to go up the street, we could have been there. We're sitting on the train track. I'm like, yo, have you thought about backing up? I don't know. I'm late. <laughs> oh, no, here comes the train. Yeah, but if you had just told me, there was no train that way. That, that was so, I guess that's when he was deaf. I don't know. <laughs> it's selective deafness. I, I don't know. But whatever the case may be, I just think we need to embrace the fact that we're not keeping it real about our world. Um, We don't give a fuck about humanity anymore. We don't give a fuck about each other anymore. We trust humans more than we trust ourselves. And it says it in the Bible. She made robots. She definitely made robots. The mark of the beast will be in the hand or in the head. Facts. She said the neural link is a chip that gives the human brain the ability My to wrist. operate and function. My wrist is like so a bad. computer. 
It's like my shooting wrist too. What the now fuck? it's not easy to get. You might need a billion dollars, but uh, Elon will hook you up. Y'all know what the fuck going on. You know, get you all AI. If it lets me make, if it lets me make comments, you don't even need comment. phone to make phone calls anymore. You don't have to use computers anymore. This is where the world is going. Motorola said last year they made an announcement in March before I went into Parkland when my uh, second ex-husband had me registered as crazy and drugged for days. It just happened on no Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but they said it. They made the announcement. Starting 2030, all cell phones will be bio inside your right hand. Chip in your head. Who said that? Chip in your yeah, head. I, yeah, yeah. Technology is the mark of the beast. It's very simple. Basically. And yet people won't accept it. It says in the Bible, an intelligent man will know the number of man is 666. For whatever reason, humanity wants to believe that the only language that ever existed was the English language. Stupid. There were a lot of languages that existed long before English. And numbers were invented late in the game of life and literature. It was all symbols, especially coming from Kemet, Egypt. The number six, the symbol for it, in Latin numerology. Egypt was that it's smart with our numbers? God damn, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? What that? did we used to have to type before had to they be. started making it a ghost so you didn't have to acknowledge you were writing 666, 666, 666, 666, all day, all night? <laughs> no, He's a that's, what, that's the acronym we gave it. <laughs> That's the acronym we gave it. It never had a name. Wow. It was just WWW. Somebody invented that World Wide Web shit. Anybody can put a name on something. What do you call it? A non-disclosure agreement. An NDA. What do I call it? A nigga don't ask. It means the same thing. I never really typed the WWW for Why don't like, we want to accept what's like right Google. in our faces? Want to know why? Because motherfuckers get up and ask this a question before they ask God a question. Okay, yeah, we fucking up. Matter of fact, I know motherfuckers are so fucking cold in this motherfucking system shit. They're so fucking caught up in the matrix shit that they actually think they're praising God when they get online and start praising God for people to see them praising God but didn't pray before they went live. That's real. You, see a lot of... you needed to get on that technology before you even prayed and thank God. How many of us are guilty of that? I think we all had a day, for sure. Even me some days. No, definitely, for sure. For sure. For sure. Even me, like, we're, we're there. <laughs> it says, don't bow down to any graven images. And I sat here and I proved June tape my girl birthday. I just know that she wearing a shirt. Prove <laughs> to you, there's a young man whose music I love, and his own lyric is Shout out my I baby. Would trade her love for a Grammy. The greatest gifts in life. Love. Charity. You know, we, we got a book. It's written in plain English. They might have fucked around with it a little bit, but the meat of it is still there. We're always busy trying to reinterpret it and interpret it and make it mean what we want it to mean, and yet we don't acknowledge it for what it say. Hmm. We, we just want to make it mean what we want to make it mean. And that's why I love that movie, The Book of Eli with Denzel Washington and Gary Oldman. And the coldest line in that whole film was when they kept asking Gary Oldman, why do you keep sending us to get killed by this guy for this fucking book? We bring you books all the time. What's so special about this book? He said, you don't understand. It's the words in the book. If 
I read these words, they'll do whatever I say because it comes from the book. Mm. He's talking about the Bible. Yeah. And the one thing he proved is this. Those words are very valuable, whether you're using them for the right thing or whether you're using them for the wrong thing. Jesus Christ goes to the synagogue, gets upset because he don't like what's happening. There's more money handling and more judging going on than people actually getting their souls fed and actually really having fellowship and really seeing it in each other to come closer to God. No, it, it didn't look nothing like that. He flipped out. He had something to say about it. And he said, my father said, his house is to be a house of worship for all people. That means you, 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 all people. No separation. All people means all people. Yeah, we have 80 million fucking denominations and we're arguing about the same God. No, you my God. No, my God's better than no, my God don't let, no, no, because my God. I don't do none of that. I really don't do none of that shit at all. I tell you about my God. I show love like, to you. I think we keep forgetting to what you believe in at that. The you program talking about. was designed to make do the none mind of trust the program. God told us not to do none of that. What so much so to the point. Spread the word. Keep it a being. Like, you that's don't it. even realize you're doing it when you're doing it. These motherfuckers be trying to look down on me. I don't do none of this. Give me a the time. difference between me and most people is I know where I'm wrong. And I try to improve it. I don't let myself make it. A lot of people let themselves make it. That's why it's easy to let monsters make it. Because you oh, see yeah. something in them that reminds you of yourself. Now you think about the diddler and everybody that wanted to be his friend, everybody that bragged about being his friend, everybody that bragged about going to ditty parties. And if you want to be rich and if you want to be famous, you got to make it to a rock nation brunch or a ditty party. Newsflash. Jay-Z still on a milk carton. Not even the devil's friends are loyal. We got to get real. <laughs> it's time to get real. And in the conversations that we've been planning to have and share with the world, especially this next conversation, all I ask is that everybody that's watching stop thinking this shit is entertainment. Acknowledge it is real. We're not here to entertain you. Yeah, you might find some of the shit we say entertaining, so the fuck do we? But the difference between us and y'all is we have to laugh to keep from crying. Y'all just laugh. Big fucking difference. We're able to laugh about the shit that we live through. Y'all are just laughing at it because you find it entertaining. Fuck wrong with y'all. I don't like most of the shit that I saw. I was in a position where I was forced to see some things. I had to learn how to live with it. Yeah, I can make fun of it. Shit, some days I had to just to get through it. Why the fuck you laughing? <laughs> you know? Has anybody ever really thought about it that way? We on that program. It's time to switch the program. <laughs> We're living in a world where Donald Trump is being arrested for absolutely nothing that he did wrong and not being acknowledged for some of the mistakes that he made. This fucking shit is crazy. <sighs> Trump? We don't know how it's going to go yet. Not yet. We was all friends January 6th, and now ain't nobody fucking with him. That's the problem that I got. Acknowledge your friends. 
keep that same energy. Yeah, that is. Amen. Exactly I, I don't need none of you bitches. Fuck what you talking about. That's exactly how I... And I think that's why most Fuck. people despise me at times, sometimes downright hate me. It is what it's it because is. at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm going to keep it a fucking bean. And I'm not keeping it a bean for you. I'm keeping it a bean for me. Because every day I'm honest I love how about who I am that. and what I've done and what I've lived and how it's affected the people that I love and my community and the world at large. While I'm dealing with that, I'm still dealing with me. Still begging forgiveness every day for the people I left behind, people I stepped over, the people I stepped on. But see, that's the difference between them and me. I could say all of that. I could say I've done it and ain't shit I can do to change it. But what I can do is admit that we were wrong, break this shit, and give it to the future. Why is everybody so against handing the future to the, to the future? Think about it. Think about the list. When I go and I look at the shorts, the one I think I'm most proud of is the list. When I look at those comments and I read those comments and you guys are always saying, Jay, you should read the comments. You should read the comments. And I never do. But I'm glad you guys started getting me to do that. Because I never realized how much information they scrubbed that people can't get. But you got people like me, you got people like Jean Deal, you know? You got people like Kat, people that have been in the trenches, who do remember. And maybe there's a detail that they forgot to scrub. And now there's a thread. See? We, we don't talk in code or talk cryptic because we're, we're trying to make it entertaining. This shit is dangerous. <laughs> There's not a day that's gone by in the past four years that I don't acknowledge that because of what I choose to do, I might lose my life today. That's a reality. I could let that freak me out. I could let that make me scared. Or I could say, I got good friends. People that believe in me. And I'm just going to keep going full throttle until I can't go no more. Whether I'm stopped or God calls me, it's all the same either way. He's in, in charge. So what do we get done with today? If today is all we got left, let's say today was the last day. What do we, what, what do we do with today? Do we make a difference? Do we open up a door? Do we possibly create a new perception, maybe a new path? Are we getting somewhere? Are we starting to realize that somewhere along the way, we allowed them to tell us that our regular lives don't deserve to be celebrated and we got to want this shit. You want to know why Neo Soul was great? Because we celebrated normal life. We wrote songs about family reunions. Shit you did. We wrote songs about you know, hard relationships between mothers and daughters. We wrote songs about the joys of family. We wrote songs about the pain of heartbreak. We wrote some, we wrote about the shit that y'all did. When you hear far away from here by Kendrick, you hear a family in struggle who's just waiting, you know what I mean? For that moment where they can get far away from here. How many people feel like that every day? You want to know what I know? Most people don't feel like every day. Like they need to write eight times in the song that they wear every chain that they own. Mm -hmm. 
When, when, when do we hear? You know, it, it's gotten to the point now where the, the music is so dehumanizing. We don't realize we're not making music for humans anymore. We're making music for animals and impulses. Because the truth is, when real good music does come out, the kids enjoy it too. What did I say earlier? October London. He's there, Raheem Devon. Clearly it still has value. Why don't we promote it more? We gotta figure that out. And we gotta change the program. Yeah. Yeah, we here. We up. You 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 ready to go in? <laughs> I got. I have one question. Absolutely. Do you think the end is near? Which end? The end. There's been the end before. Yeah. And guess what? Life goes on. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm sure the flood felt like the end and your life went on. You know what I mean? I'm sure Hiroshima felt like the end for a lot of people, but life went on. I'm sure there's a lot of things that feel like the end and yet somehow life goes on. I don't think we need to be worried about an end. I think we need to be worried about right now. Because if you're doing right by me, if you're doing right by right now, the future has a better shot. Stop worrying about all of that shit. Like, we we too worried about time, place, and tense. The past is a story. Whatever I did yesterday, that ain't happened today. It's a story I can tell. Maybe it's something I can learn from or just something funny to tell. Whatever the case may be, it's a story. Until I wake up tomorrow... The future, that shit ain't real. All I got is right now. That's Amen. all any of us got is right now. Let's focus on right now. Who's the hottest artist in Dallas that's not being supported by Dallas? <laughs> we just had this argument. <laughs> we just, you just missed this argument. Yeah, we're going to have to have that off camera. Part two? Part two? Part two, <laughs> part two for sure. Hey, man. Well, that's the place to end for now. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, you said a lot. Of, I watch all your interviews, and they just get more and more. I don't think, I never think you can go any deeper, and then you just, <laughs> you just hit it every single time. I, I'm i always amazed. I, I, I don't know what what manner of being that you are, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm going to uh, put it to you this way. I'm a person that chooses to want to be my higher self. Amen. And I'm willing to go through every level of fire to earn it clean. You know, carnage, even within oneself, can be, it can be helpful. Sometimes we don't realize how sick we are with the shit that we're doing. You know, ain't nothing wrong with a fresh start. Yeah. No matter how old you are. Amen. Am I wrong, Edge? No, you're not getting wrong right now. Yep. Second win, third win for some of us, and you keep on going. Well, I know what one thing that you are, and that is a real life street <laughs> star. <laughs> Yeah! One million! One million! Hey, part, part one in the books. Let's turn it off. Yeah. All right, all right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.